Hi, I'm Matt and I'm a third year history student. And I'm Sarah and I'm a third year politics and modern history student. Course unit selection can be a little bit confusing, especially the first time you do it. So we're here to give you a brief introduction to help you get to grips with it. The first thing to do is to look at your programme structure. You can find your programme structure at the Your Programme page on the student intranet. It will tell you which modules are compulsory, you'll be automatically enrolled in these, and which modules you can choose to take which you'll have to enrol in yourself. For example, this is my programme structure. You can see that the compulsory modules are clearly indicated and that you are automatically enrolled in these. These could be language modules if you take a language or if you're a first year history student, it would be history and practice. And then I get all of this choice. As Salk students, we generally get a lot more choice than other schools. Alongside all our optional modules that we get to select, we also have the opportunity to pick from a broad range of free choice units available through Salk, USIL and the University Language Centre, all of which are linked within your programme structure. Keep in mind, you'll have a set amount of credits you can do per semester, normally 120 split over the year, either 60-60 or 70-50. And it's also useful to remember that you can tell which semester a course is by the last number in the code. A one means it's semester one, a two means it's semester two, and a zero means it spans the whole year. You'll want to look at your optional modules on My Manchester for more information on each of them. You can do this by clicking My University, Learning, and then under Tools, it's Course Unit Information. Once you've looked at this and decided which courses you want to do, you'll want to pull up the CUS guide to help with enrolment and make sure it runs smoothly. The first thing you need to do is log on to the student system. This can be done by navigating to your My Manchester, selecting tools, selecting student system, following the student centre hyperlink and then selecting enrol. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to a page called add classes. Here you'll need to click search. This bit can be a bit confusing. You'll need to click the subject area, add the course number and remember to select the course career as undergraduate. Check all this information is correct and click search. Here you'll be taken to the search results screen and although it initially seems to present a lot of data, it can become a lot easier to navigate once you get to grips with it. Classes with LEC under their section refer to lectures and it is these you want to focus on when presented with more than one option. It is also really important to make note of the time of your lecture as you go as this will help you keep track of your classes and prevent any clashes further down the line. Once you're happy with your selection and have made note of your classes, press select to continue. Next, you'll see a list of related classes. This is classes separate from your lecture. It could be a seminar or a language group, anything like that. Pick which you'd prefer, make a note of the time and click next. Then you'll be taken to a summary of all the classes that you've picked. Check these are correct and click next. These will be added to your shopping cart. Keep adding courses just following this process and you can remove any from your cart at any time by clicking the dustbin icon. Once you've selected all the courses you wish to enrol in, select proceed to step two or three. Here you will be presented with another summary. Make sure to triple check this is correct and then proceed to step three by selecting finish enrolling. Step three will then provide you with the results of your enrolment. A green tick represents a successful enrolment and a red cross means there was an error. Common enrolment errors you may find include time clashes with other classes, the course being full, or the course requires a prerequisite that you have not studied. And remember, if your enrolment initially fails and you still want to do that course, you'll have to manually repeat the enrolment process having addressed the issues. And that should be it. Uh, there's also information in this document about swapping, editing, and dropping a course unit. If you have any issues, please don't hesitate to contact your programme administrator. If you aren't sure who your programme administrator is, you can find it out at the bottom of the uh, course guide following this link. They're here to help you and available working hours Monday to Friday. And that's it from us. We hope this has been helpful.